Evan Weaver was an inside linebacker for the University of California, Berkeley. Out of high school, he was a three-star defensive end from Washington, but he switched to linebacker and became a consensus first-team All-American and Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year, while graduating with a degree in American Studies. His senior season 182 tackles is third all-time, behind Luke Keekley and Luke Keekley. At the Combine, he was measured at 6 feet 2 inches and weighed 237 pounds. His arm span was 31 and 5 eighths inches, and his 40-yard dash time was 4.76. But Evan Weaver was more than just numbers. He was a Cal legend. His most famous moment came his junior year against Washington, ranked number 15, when he picked off the quarterback and ran it back 35 yards to score Cal's only touchdown in a 12-10 upset victory. As a former Cal linebacker and current coach of the Washington franchise, Ron Rivera said, He's a lot of fun to watch because he plays with a lot of passion. It looks like he's having fun. In one instance, after a frustrating week, Weaver was asked about next week's opponent and said, We'll get it right tomorrow in the film room. Then we'll fly up there and we'll beat them Saturday. That's what we do. We win games. They did, in fact, win that next game. And that passion is part of why his teammates elected him captain for the year. That intensity shows up here. Lining up over the middle, Weaver heads for the gap, and with his teammates already there, Weaver wants in on the action. His motor never turns off. Like this play. Weaver is right there. And the QB is going to throw a little out route, and then boom, Weaver. Or here, it's right at the end of the game. One score game. Five seconds left, fourth and goal, and there's Weaver. The QB is going to try to escape, and Weaver is right there. There's me, and Weaver wins the game. Or on this play, it's a long third down, and there's Weaver. The QB is going to find his guy. And right now you're thinking, okay, that looks like a first down. Well, all that guy sees is a locked-in Weaver, and he gets scared. But Evan Weaver has skills other than passion. He's very skilled at shedding blocks at the second level to attack the runner. On this play, Weaver lines up here, and it looks like the lineman's going to stick him. But Weaver's going to shed it and dive straight for the ball. Or this play, Weaver lines up here. And again, it looks like the lineman has him beat. But Weaver escapes, and he's got a clear path to the pile. And again, Weaver's right there. The O-lineman thinks he has Weaver, but Weaver uses a great hand move. He's going to escape, shed the block, and be right there to stop the runner. And here, there's Weaver. The lineman thinks he's got him, but then whoop, there goes Weaver, right into stopping the runner. Weaver also tackles in a way that's very mechanically sound. On this play, Weaver is going to line up right here, and he's going to receive the runner in the gap. See how he wraps both arms around the runner, stops his momentum, and brings him directly to the ground. On this play, Cal's got three defensive linemen who are supposed to create a gap that Weaver is going to run through. Weaver splits the gap, wraps around the runner in the backfield, and brings him straight down. Weaver also has a very high awareness level and a high football IQ. Here, Weaver is going to pick up Colby Parkinson run the whole way, and get his body right in front, preventing a catch and forcing Stanford to kick a fatal field goal. Or here, Weaver, there, reads the play before the snap and is already moving to split a gap he knows will appear.
Here again, Weaver visualizes a gap before the snap, and he has a clear lane into the backfield. But Weaver has flaws. Let's go back to that play. Come on, Weaver. Come on, get him, get him, get him. <sighs> Weaver's biggest flaw is his speed. So, on this play, there's Weaver. He's going to take a bad angle. And the QB is just going to blow on by. Whoosh. Let's actually rewind this play to talk about another issue. His pass rush. So there's Weaver. He's going to push his guy. And that's about as far as he gets. He has no pass rush moving. As you can see here again. He's going to push his guy and just kind of fall over. On this play, Weaver's going to rush from the outside, but it's not going to be any different. On this play, Weaver is again going to try to rush, and although he still has no impact, at least he's watching the QB's eyes and goes for a knockdown. Another issue, I think, stems from a weak lower body. So there's Weaver. He's going to go for the runner in the gap and just flops down. That's not good for a run stopper. Again here, there's Weaver, goes for the runner, and ends up on his back. Another issue I see is he's prone to getting personal fouls. Here's Weaver, about to rush a throwing QB. And yeah, they called a late hit on that. Again, here's Weaver, going to rush the passer. And although they didn't call a late hit on this, they will call a late hit in the NFL on that. Later in the season, against UCLA, he kicked the ball and got another flag. That's a rare trait for a Justin Wilcox coached player. Still, the aggression is kind of part of the Evan Weaver experience. Now, he's a big hitter in the style of guys like Tit Buttkiss and Mike Singletary. So, the pros of Evan Weaver. He's an insane competitor, and he was voted team captain. He's got elite hand moves to shed second-level blocks. He has good tackling mechanics and always stops the runner. And he has those football instincts and a high level of awareness. But, the cons. He lacks speed during a chase. There's no impact when he rushes the passer. He's got a weak lower body. He can be too aggressive. And he would be a first round pick if it were still the 1980s. So, I think that Evan Weaver should and will be drafted within rounds 5 through 6. He's great at stopping the run, but he needs a certain team that relies on linebackers to stop the run and has a place for him in their scheme.